Today is a special day. We are here to celebrate the accomplishments of Columbia Academy's graduating class of 2019, as you're aware. But it is also a special day because these graduates are the fifth graduating class from the school. The school is now five years old. The Columbia Academy was made possible through the efforts and commitment of many teachers, staff, and administrators over the past five years. But in particular, I want to recognize a very humble person who will get frustrated or angry with me afterwards, but that's Vivian. Vivian made this school possible through her perseverance. So I congratulate Vivian, and I hope she takes a moment to reflect on the wonderful, positive contributions she has made to this world by committing herself not only to the graduates here today, but those who have walked across the stage before you today and who will walk across the stage in the future. Over the past five years, the Columbia Academy has produced approximately 150 graduates. From approximately 12 graduates in 2015, last year we had 55, this year we have 49. That is an incredible amount of growth within a short period of time. To the parents and caregivers in attendance, on behalf of the Columbia Academy, I wish to thank you for your dedication, support, and guidance you have provided to these amazing young men and women and people who you love and know. To the teachers and staff, thank you for your commitment and investment in your students and seeing the actual, uh, end sounds a bit serious, but the end of their academic career in high school and as they move on into the next path. You've done a wonderful job, teachers, of providing these students with a solid education and providing them opportunities as young adults who are venturing into their passions. Thank you for everything you do on a daily basis. It is challenging work that teachers undertake. To the graduates, you have been awaiting this day for many years. You are talented, intelligent, and bright. And now you are graduates of the Columbia Academy. In receiving your Dogwood Diploma, you joined thousands of other graduating students in the province of British Columbia who received this certificate signaling the successful completion of your secondary school experience. You should take pause to feel satisfied and feel rewarded in your accomplishments and be proud of yourselves. Whatever you do in life, do it with passion. Wherever you go in life and whoever you spend your time with, always be true to yourself and lead yourself and conduct yourself with integrity, honesty, and grace. You are the future and you will make this a better world. A big day for you guys, 2019 graduates. When I just listen to the music, the song, this can come. I think everybody is very familiar with this song, right? I saw all those beautiful faces. They're all babies. They're all babies, you know? They are already in University of Toronto, UBC, SFU. They are probably already third year, second year, and first year. And you guys are going to be to our University of UBC those top university very soon, in September, okay? Congratulations, my dear. So to create that environment, we do emphasize the six values. Community, integrity, happiness, responsibility, compassion, and resilience. These are things that the students hear a number of times throughout the year. Uh, but we'll now talk a little bit about how we try to capture those values in our programming at the school. So Columbia Academy offers a wide range of professional services in order to aid students in their goal of reaching top universities. I'd like to now take a moment to thank the teachers for their role in achieving this pursuit. Dr. Ralco, your I can't imagine coming home from a hard day of high school, not being able to see my parents or my friends or my family. And you guys, most of you guys dealt with that on a daily basis. And I just want to acknowledge how much courage you guys must have had to do that. And the second thing I want to acknowledge about this group of graduates is how hard you guys worked. 
just talking to some of you throughout the day. I know you start your day at 7 a.m. You're not home till sometimes 7.30 or 8 p.m. You're studying all day and you guys just work so, so hard. And today is the day to acknowledge all of your hard work. As J.K. Rowland says, you don't need magic to change your world. You already have the power within you. You have the power to create and change your own destiny. So go out there and create and change your destiny. Congratulations. It's customary in these occasions to give a word of advice. And um, my word of advice to you graduates is this. Uh, we've been talking a lot about success and accomplishments. And by all means, be successful and accomplish a lot. But also, be good, be patient, be kind, be humble. Treat people better than they deserve. Um, clean up your own mess before you criticize other people's messes. Success is important, but just as important, perhaps more important, is a good life. And so I hope that you lead a good life. Um, so my wish for you is, Success, but goodness as well. Just three pieces of advice that I can give you. Try to remember this. Work hard, uh, play hard, and also uh, be kind to yourself. Um, I believe that there's a lot of times that can be confusing. So um, just be kind to yourself. It's okay to be lost sometimes. Uh, I just have one last word to those people that haven't graduated yet, that are still in my class. Uh, your homework is due tomorrow. I'll see you in class. Our families students, fellow colleagues, and guardians. We stand here today to celebrate a significant moment for all of us in this wonderful journey of personal growth and learning. I'd like for us to take a moment and imagine that each phase of our lives is like moving from one room to another in a wonderful building that is called education. I'd like for our graduates to think of today's celebrations as one of those moments where they are given the key to move into a new phase in their lives. It is my deepest hope that wherever your journey takes you in this vast building we call life, you will carry with you your best memories from Columbia Academy, along with our school's values, especially happiness. Your future is in your hand. CN can help you, but CN can help you up to this point only. In the future, what you are going to do? The future is in your hand. I trust you guys. If you really, really working hard, this is a very nice society for the people working hard. Your parents' accomplishment will not be yours. No matter your parents is president or the governor of, you still have to working hard in order to stand in the society. Remember, before you leave here, don't forget why you came here. Stay true to your dreams, stay true to your passions, and don't ever give up. I'm so proud of you all once again, and I always, always remember you all. I always, always love you all, and wish you best of luck. Just like say slogan, the harder you work, the luckier you are. So thanks to help and kindness I received from my teachers. And I grew up a lot well at this school here. So I feel very happy to have a chance to join student council. And finally, I want to say thank you, my teachers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Principal. Thank you. And thank you, Ms. Vivian, Ms. Cassie, Ms. Laura, and Ms. Seda. And thank you, my friends. Thank you, Columbia Academy. And good luck, grad 2019. Thank you. Um, I only, I've only been in CA for only two semesters, but it seems to be a long, long time, especially uh, last semester in September. Uh, CA is the place where my grades, my life uh, gets improved, and uh, it's, it's really memorable. Um, I just want to say that to all future graduates, um, get everything started just right now. Don't wait for chances. You go for it, and you will be successful. We are young hearts. 
We are fearless and we are never give up. Our goal is the best university and we can do this. If someone asks who are we, we can tell them lowly, we come from CA. I would now like to invite Amanda Guan, a girl who loves to laugh. Would you please come forward, Amanda? So Amanda says, I am a very easygoing, cheerful, and smiling person who enjoys talking with others. The school arranges plenty of volunteer work for us. Make sure you take the opportunities. It will definitely help you in the future. I feel loved in school. Many people helped me, and I hope you can study harder earlier, and everyone will be proud of you. I would now like to invite Abel Wen to the stage, a talented flute player. Abel says, I am a Christian. I love music, and I put effort into making myself a better, more of an honest person. Music class brings me the best memory in CA, and I learn a lot in high school. I know that I have to be independent. My dream is to be someone that brings joy to people around me. I'll now invite Bryant Song to the stage. Bryant is a man who showed if you work hard, you can be your best self. You can do anything you set your mind to, he says. Be yourself, be proud of who you are. Do not lose your faith. Believe you are more clever than you think. Good, good. I will now call to the stage, please, Mr. Bryson Wu. Bryson is one who thinks a lot, aspires to be many things, and wants to do good in the world. He says, my favorite memory of CA was when I left it. And it might not be for the reasons that you think. Don't get me wrong, he says. I was obviously glad to finish high school. But much more significantly, in this moment, I also felt a bittersweet nostalgia as I reminisced on the times that made me feel alive, the times that made me feel human. I longed for the days when hypoxia became a real concern due to uncontrollable, soundless laughter, or the times when passionate intellectual discussions blessed my mind with intense euphoric stimulation. Truthfully, it doesn't matter where I go or where you go, I will surely remember those bright orange walls. I would now like to invite to the stage, please, Cynthia Gould. Cynthia is a member of student council and tutoring club leader. She says, high school life is full of happiness. I'll now call Chandler Wong to the stage, please. Chandler is a curious and hardworking young man. He says, everyone says I'm gifted, so I used to believe that I can do anything without hard work. But now, since I've been through high school, the only thing I know makes everything work is making great efforts, and no one can be successful only by their gifted intelligence. Work hard, and all the hard work will pay you back. I'll now invite Daniel Shen to the stage, please. Daniel is a warm-hearted person who loves to help others. He says, I like to do things that I want without hesitations. For example, playing piano, working out, and drawing. I like helping others whenever they need. It is my honor to be in Columbia Academy. I really appreciate that. I would like to thank my friends for always being here, helping me, and supporting me. Do your IELTS as early as you can. Don't wait until the last minute. Excellent advice. Thank you. I'll now call, please, Emily Liu to the stage. Emily is a member of student council, a professional dancer, and dance club leader. I'll now call, please, Emily Song to the stage. Emily is a talented artist. She says she is, I am a foodie that loves doing art and design. Piano and music is life. Psychology books are oxygen to me, and I love all the challenges in life. My dream is to become an artist and have my own art studio in the future. I'll next call to the stage, please, Frank Lee, a man who might surprise you. He is top three at this moment, and Frank says, I am an outgoing person and I enjoy making friends with others. Before I came to CA, I never thought that I could go to a top university. A big thanks to CA. I changed a lot in CA. Now I understand the importance of learning knowledge. 
To juniors, I am sure you will have a very meaningful life at CA. I did not only learn academic knowledge, I also learned self-discipline and happiness. Thank you all. Next call to the stage, Frank Ma, please. Frank is president of Student Council and also, a, again, a volunteer work pioneer with over 500 volunteer hours. I'll next call to the stage, please, Irene Jin. Good luck, Irene. I'll now call to the stage, please, Iris Wong, a talented artist. She says her dream is to be a movie producer. Thanks to my parents and my friends for supporting me. Have your dream and never give up. Thank you. I'll now, I'll now call forward Isabella Zhu, a caring and reliable friend. She says, I am happy I made lots of friends in CA. And also, thank you, my teachers, for your help. I took the happiness courses, which make me appreciate the life I have now. To juniors, do not waste your time. Participate in all the activities and classes in your high school. Get along well with your classmates and cherish your friends. I'll now call forward, please, Jackie Chen. Jackie is president of Student Council, co-president currently of Student Council, also tutoring club, uh, club leader. And I'll call forward, please, Jason Wu. Jason is a young man with many talents to be discovered. He says, I changed a lot after I came to CA from a student who does not like to study to a student trying to work hard and get into the top universities. To juniors, study hard, sleep more, and spend less time on games. I'll now call forward, please, Jessica Sui, a grounded young lady who loves to help others. She says, except for working hard, participating in extracurriculum is very important as well. For example, joining the club school provides, or even set up a club. I set up a happiness club last term with my friends with a purpose to help us relax from the busy study schedule and also to promote team spirit. Joining in volunteer club is a very good choice for you too. Gradually you will find helping others will make you very happy. I'll now ask Joyce Zhu to come forward please, a hardworking and conscientious student. I spend lots of time taking pictures, she says. I enjoy capturing moments and visual art documents. My best memory at CA is having lunch with my girls every day. To Sarah, Eleanor, and Peggy, pass your IELTS as early as possible. <laughs> I'll now call forward, please, Julia Shi, an inquisitive student and caring friend. Julia says, I have big passions towards my studies. I cherish my time with my friends and the teachers in high school. One thing very special about CA is the school provides lots of volunteer opportunities for us. Please cherish these opportunities. Wish everyone can get your dreams, Dream University's offers and chase your dream. I'll now call to the stage, please, Catherine Zhu, a hardworking and determined student. She says, in this world, the power of any one person is small. Only by integrating individuals into a team and working hard with the team, this can be the only way to maximize everyone's personal value and achieve excellence. A well-designed and coordinated plan is like a veritable blueprint that lays out a course of action, allowing each of us to reach our goals. I have made a lot of sincere friends in CA. It's good to feel with my heart. I'll now call, uh, call forward, please, Klaus Jai, a creative and persistent young man. Klaus says, I met a lot of friends in CA. They always support me and help me a lot. CA is a high school where you can realize your dream. As long as you work hard and follow the school's guidance, you will get your dream university's offers. <laughs> I'll now call to the stage, please, Crystal Fu, a studious and conscientious young woman. She says, I have been very fulfilled and happy in CA for more than a year. I recognize many friends in this school, especially the most important friends in my life. It is not only the help of learning, but also the mutual care in life. CA makes me feel the warmth of a big family and also made me regain my enthusiasm for learning. At the same time, I also learned more knowledge in this school and every teacher has a great teaching mood. To CA juniors, 
people in the back. First of all, actively participate in extracurricular activities, which can make life more fulfilling and interesting. Secondly, attending, attendance and reasonable time will all prepare you for the future in life in the university. It will make you more comfortable with busy work. Last but not least, be sure to know in advance the grades and documents you need to apply for the university. Upload them in time to prevent the missing of admission and keep your grades good. Excellent advice. I'll now call forward, please, Leanne Huang, a hardworking student. Leanne says, I spend lots of time on practicing drawing and using my digital tablet. Also, I practice doing voice acting jobs. Some reminders to future students in CA. Ah, pass your IELTS test earlier. Make more friends. Be friendly to everyone and treasure each to become your friend. My best memory at CA is the Whistler ski trip and lookout. My dream is to become a voice actor. I'll now call forward Lex Yang. <laughs> I will first call forward Lex Yang, member of student council. I'll now call forward, please, Lisa Huang, member of student council and Japanese club founder. Lisa says, I went to three different high schools and learned a lot in those years. Trust yourself and study hard. That's the most useful thing to you. I'll now call forward, please, Mike G, an open-minded young man. He says, message to juniors. CA is not a big school, but it is filled with kindness. After I came to CA, I tried to change myself to be a better version of myself. I have learned a lot and I have changed a lot. In CA, I learned not only about academic knowledge, but also how to communicate with others. Furthermore, I learned to be more respectful to teachers and classmates. My dream is to be the best version of myself. And Mike, we know you are well on your way to that. We're very proud of you. I'll now call forward, please, Paul Shao, a humble and hardworking student. He says, as a humble, as a student in CA, I mainly pay my efforts on the course of English 12 to improve my English skills, especially the writing. I am motivated a lot by the guided practice from teachers. Because of these experiences, I become more mature and satisfied towards my life. At CA, I definitely have learned academic knowledge from the lectures of many generous and responsible teachers, but it is more significant that I am conscious of how to be happy and devoted in my community. I'll now call forward, please, Chow Chow Song, a talented dancer who loves to smile. She says, I look serious, but actually I'm a very funny person. It's true. I like to dance, but I am very shy inside. All the memories I had in CA are the best, especially hanging out with my friends after school. I'll now call forward, please, Rebecca Cheng, a warm-hearted and curious young woman. She says, I was a professional dancer back in Beijing. In order to go to my dream university, I gave up everything in China and came to Vancouver. Thanks to all the teachers in Columbia Academy, they are really helpful and care about all the students. I'll call forward now Sherry Yin, a hardworking student who loves to learn. Sherry will give a few words of her own after mine here. I'll now call up, please, Stephen Hu to the stage. Stephen is a member of Student Council 2018 and basketball club leader. Stephen says, as a strong math student, I am used to pursuing precision and perfection in everything I care about. I also like to challenge myself by taking attempts to do various sports, and I like basketball the most. My best memory is the time when we played basketball in Richmond Oval. He says to juniors, get everything started right now. Volunteering, student council, extracurriculars, do not wait for chances and your goals. Work diligently and continuously. I'll now call up, please, Sue Wong, a friendly and hardworking student. Sue says, I would like to challenge myself, and I would like to help others. I like making friends. As a graduate, I wish I had taken IELTS earlier. Then I would not have to worry about it all the time. CA is the best school I have ever been to. Everyone here, everybody here, is kind and helpful. And teachers try their best to help us to get our dream university's offers. So
I'll next call up Susie Lin, an inquisitive and persistent student. Susie says, I love to try different things in my life. My hobby is to try different delicious food and go to the gym. CA is the best school in my mind. CA proves that as long as you work hard, all your effort will be paid back. To juniors, I learned how to be efficient at CA. I graduated within four semesters and got accepted by top university. As long as you set a goal, never give up, and work hard towards it, and you will have a bright future. I'll now call forward, please, Victoria Dong, a young lady with wisdom. Victoria says, even though I used two extra years to graduate from high school, as I came to Canada too late, I do not consider it a waste of time. I feel I learned more from these two years, which enriched my life experience, and also learned how to be a good person. I am now more prepared for life in the future. I'll now ask Vivian Q to come to the stage. A caring friend, she says, as a student, I enjoy my school life with my friends. I usually use my free time to study and prepare something for my club. And enjoying silence in the park is my favorite activity in the morning. Message to juniors, practice makes perfect. Be responsible for yourself. My dream is to be an actuary and travel to Italy. Now call forward, please, Victoria, uh, Victoria Leung, an open-minded and artistic student. She says, I would like to spend a lot of time on drawing and taking photographs. They help me to find the beauty of life in detail. Message to juniors, make more friends and learn from them. Hard work will bring success to you. I'll now ask Eating Shui to come to the stage, a friendly and industrious young woman. Eating says, I am an open, outgoing person. I like to communicate with my friends and also like to play games with them. Even though I'm not the best in academic studies, I have tried my best. In CA, I met lots of good friends here, and thanks to all the teachers and staff. I hope you will love CA as well, because all teachers are trying their best to help us. I'll now call forward, please, Ziki Zhu, a young lady who strives to become a better version of herself. <laughs> Message to juniors, she says, do not waste your time to do something which is not useful. Always stay with positive people. Depression will not get you anywhere. You need to fight to get out of it. Anything is possible with hard work and never giving up. My best memory in CA is skating in Whistler with my friends. Everyone really enjoyed that. <laughs> Call forward now Zoe Lee, please, a mindful and curious student. Zoe says, CA changed me. I become more disciplined than before. Message to juniors, please follow school policy and discipline yourself. With discipline in life, it can help you to get accepted by top universities. Zoe. I think that everybody is in control of their own destiny. So now that you're grading and going out to the world, create and make your own destiny. Just so you guys know, you guys are awesome. The sky's the limit. Reach for the stars and you can do anything you want to do. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, one thing would definitely be uh, listening to your elders, mm. no matter if you're one semester away or just graduated or if it's your parents. But then on top of listening to your elders, Trust yourself and listen to what you want to do in life. <laughs>